Welcome to Everyday Linux User and welcome to a month on Nabara Linux. Now every month I choose a different Linux distribution and spend an entire month using it so that I can give an honest opinion about what it is really like using the operating system day in, day out. In previous months I have reviewed Mint, MX, Debian, Endeavor, Kashi, Fedora, OpenSUSE, Zorin and many others. Check out the link in the description for a full playlist. The videos are around 5 minutes long as I believe that gives a suitable amount of time to describe the features, the pros and the cons of each distro without flooding you with too much information. So Nabara Linux. Essentially Nabara does for Fedora Linux what Mint does for Ubuntu. It provides an extra layer of convenience so that you get all the joy of Fedora without having to search for immediate fixes to issues yourself. And before I started this month on, I would have said that Nabara would be the distro to use if you were thinking of using Fedora. Note the bit where I said before the month on. Now there's nothing wrong with Nabara Linux by the way. It worked perfectly fine for the entire month and I had absolutely zero issues while using it. It works and it works well. So why the ambiguity? As I said previously, Mint takes Ubuntu and adds a level of convenience to make it more usable to a certain audience. If you like a familiar looking desktop environment, Cinnamon, and you want all your software packages to just work without fuss, then Mint gives you that and it really does give you a different experience from using pure Ubuntu. Ubuntu is pure GNOME based, Mint is Cinnamon or Mate, or they, they do dabble with other desktop environments as well. Ubuntu uses Snaps, Mint uses Flatbacks. When it comes to Nabara and Fedora, the differences are more subtle. You get a choice of desktop environments for both Nabara and Fedora. In the main, this is GNOME and KDE, but there are alternative spins for Fedora and they both work very well. Nabara uses the Calamari's installer and before Fedora 42, I would have said that alone would be enough to say use Nabara over Fedora. But the thing is, Fedora up their game and their new installer is incredibly good. And so what used to be a duel between two foes where one carried a sword and the other a slightly sharpened spoon, this has been replaced by one still using the sword, but the other now has a Swiss army sword, complete with an umbrella so you don't get covered in blood. So taking the bar on its own merits, what does it give you? Well I have been using the KDE desktop for this month, and the main thing to note is there is no Xorg, just pure Wayland. However the Wayland is working really well, so there's no issues with recording video and audio, and all my hardware works just fine. Updating your system is really easy and I really like the Flatpost software manager. Essentially flat packs are set up by default making it so easy to install your favourite packages. Software wise you get a decent set of packages but the key selling point is the integration for gamers as Lutris, Steam and Proton are installed by default. And Nobara is set up so your graphics cards should be detected and appropriate drivers available by default. So if you're a gamer then this is one thing Nobara gives you that you may have to work a bit harder on with Fedora. Now I'm not a PC gamer, I use consoles and so this doesn't overly benefit me. Other than these you get LibreOffice of course and for listening to music there is Elise and there's VLC for watching videos and anything else you need is available via the software manager anyway. You get enough packages by default and it's really easy to install whatever else it is you need. So the upshot is there isn't much to report when it comes to Nabawa. It is Fedora based, it is easy to install, everything seems to work okay and it is easy to find and install packages, so why wouldn't you use it? Well coming shortly, I have a review of Fedora 42, so maybe hold that thought because the latest Fedora is something to behold, and this may leave you wondering, what is the point of Nabara now that Fedora is so good? And that is the end of the video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.